of the very important topic of CSI net or gate point of view it is the topic related to existence and uniqueness theorem okay of uh, initial value problem look at here the initial value problem is dy dx is equal with f of xy where this f has certain properties uh, this f is a continuous continuous function continuous function on some d which is a subset of your xy plane or r2 so basically this function f of xy must be a continuous function on some domain d fine and your initial condition is y of x naught it is equal with y naught this is the initial condition so so this together implies an initial value problem and basically they ask in the problem that whether the solution exists or not if exist then what will be the interval of existence that is our ultimate goal we will solve some problem and you will get the whole flavor of this result look at whenever we are going to find the interval of existence then this kind of thing you have in your hand it will be provided in the question look at mod of x minus x naught this is your x naught this is less or equal to a and y minus y naught this y naught less or equal to b where a and b these are some finite quantity finite constant in fact then we have some hypothesis in our hand look at first hypothesis it is this f look at this f is a continuous function as i have already written here this is a continuous function of x and y in some domain d subset of r2 first hypothesis is this one second hypothesis is del f del x partial derivative of f with respect to x this is also continuous function of x and y in that same domain and let let x naught y naught this your x naught and y naught this belongs to the same domain d this first one and two these are your hypothesis and then depending upon this all this formation and the hypothesis you will draw a conclusion that conclusion that here there exists there exists a unique solution unique solution say that solution is phi of our say this is our first equation equation number 1 this is our equation number 1 phi of 1 that means phi is a solution of 1 defined defined in some interval here comes the interval this is your interval x minus x not less or equal to h where this h is given by minimum of a this is your a and b by m now what is your m this m is maximum of f of xy in fact you can put the mod here and obviously this xy belongs to the domain means in that domain the maximum value of f of xy is going to be our small m and you have to find h is equal to minimum of a comma b by m thus we will get the interval interval of the existence of solution okay <clears throat> and that solution must also satisfy the given initial condition this was the initial condition so phi of x not it should be equal with y not this will also be satisfied by phi okay and you have to know that this is the existence theorem and it relevant result is always one sided result it is not 
the if and only if condition you have to note it down fine if all this hypothesis hold then this will happen okay that is the scenario here <coughs> so here comes a note you can write down note you have to know this theorem otherwise the questions related to this topic will be very tough for you you will not be able to solve those problems so here in the note you can write down like this way condition this condition all these conditions are sufficient but not necessary clear if all these things hold then your interval of existence is given by this formula just take this in your mind okay now one thing here comes it is it is another you can say one sided result which is whenever f satisfy lipschitz condition whenever here you can write down another thing this is one scenario come in front of you then this f this f f is lipschitz f is lipschitz function in that given domain d in d then then the given initial value problem has or poses poses unique solution unique solution in that <coughs> given domain or d okay that means whenever f is lipschitz function then the initial value problem poses unique solution that doesn't mean that if the initial value problem poses unique solution then always f must be a lipschitz function that means the converse of that statement or the result is not true you have to keep in your mind so the the next question may be what is lipschitz function some of you already know what is meant by lipschitz function and for your own satisfaction here i am writing down what do you mean by lipschitz function a function that means if a function satisfies this relation f of x y1 minus f of x y2 this difference and take the modulus if this one less or equal to k into y1 minus y2 where x y1 and x y2 this are the points taken from the considered domain then then you will say that your function f satisfies lipschitz condition and this condition is your lipschitz condition okay where this k is a constant which is called lipschitz constant fine and this k actually belongs from r plus that means positive constant okay whenever f satisfies this condition then you will say f is a lipschitz function or satisfying lipschitz condition okay if your f in that given domain satisfies this condition then your initial value problem poses unique solution that is another one sided result so all these things you just keep in your mind and this result we will apply to solve the question related to this area okay and if there is any question or query you just use the comment section and all this result or the proof or the theorem has certain proofs and if you are interested then you can easily follow the books those books earlier i have suggested in my previous video so if you haven't watched that video just go there and you will find in my playlist okay so we will meet in the next video with some problems 
ऑफ सी एस एन नेट और गेट ओके थैंक यू